Hi, I'm Phil, and today's episode of Ness on the Go video is a bit of a sweet tooth special. We're going to look at how to take a blood sugar um, and the most accurate way to do it. So, firstly, um, we need to get our equipment prepared properly. So, we've got to make sure our glucometer is checked and calibrated correctly. So, that's usually uh, done as per local policy. Um, check the testing strip, the glucose testing strip matches the same number that's on your glucometer so that they correspond. If they don't, you need to recalibrate um, your sample sticks with your glucometer. Also need like a little lancet, something to pierce the skin um, and also a little cotton bud or something to occlude the uh, pinprick site because it's only a capillary test that we're doing. So firstly, make sure that the person hasn't just eaten a big sticky jam donut and they've got sugar all over their hands. So I always get the patient to wash their hands in the sink, not with alcohol, because that can affect the glucose result. So just give them a wash in the sink first, dry their hands off. If they can't get to a sink, what you can do is just get a flannel, wet it, wash their hands, and then get a towel to dry it quickly. Um, Places that we take a blood sugar are on the sides of the finger. I never use the finger pad itself because there's a lot of nerve endings there and diabetics who you know have regular blood sugar levels done, um, they get a, a decreased sensation in their fingertips. So if you do it in the fingertip, you know, you're sticking a needle in where they've got decreased sensation anyway, they're going to lose more sensation. So trying to you know maintain as much um, sensation in the fingers as possible I would always go for the sides and the sides give you just enough blood as well what we try and do is you hold the finger down so the blood actually runs down to it so after you cleaned it wipe the finger down hold sorry hold the finger down um, I sort of occlude not too hard it's gentle it's bit of pressure on the on the finger tip just so when you put the lancet on the side and press the button that you get a good spurt of blood straight away. Um, I wait for the blood to come out enough and then when you put up your test strip it's like a capillary pressure will suck it up into the testing strip. After you've got enough of a sample depending on what machine you use depends how much volume you have for each one uh, give a little dressing over the uh, puncture side to the patient or some of them just yeah, put a bit of pressure on there for a minute and then record your blood sugar level from there. So that's just a nice little easy way to do a blood sugar. If you get into any other troubles with it, give us a shout at Nurse on the Go videos. But otherwise, have a great day. Take care for now.